Three bodies were discovered today in Israel and appear to be those of three Israeli teenagers kidnapped a little over two weeks ago. They were actually found in the occupied West Bank after a massive search by Israeli forces and Holly Williams has details. The bodies were discovered under a pile of rocks north of the town of Halhul near Hebron in the West Bank. The three teenagers, all of them seminary students, went missing while hitchhiking from the Jewish settlement of Kafar Etzion. One of them, 16-year-old Naftali Frenkel, was a dual U.S. citizen whose mother, Rachelli, made a plea for their return. We love you. We miss you. Please be strong. Hold on. Be strong. We love you. We want to hug you again. The disappearance sparked one of the biggest security crackdowns in a decade as Israeli forces went house to house in areas around Hebron and arrested more than 400. That led to clashes with Palestinians, which left five dead. Israeli officials blame Hamas, the militant group that controls the Gaza Strip, and named two of its members as suspects. Hamas has never claimed responsibility, but it did praise the abductions as a heroic act. And Holly Williams is joining us now from Istanbul. Holly, what happens next? Well, Scott, the fear is that this will lead inevitably to more bloodletting. Israel now looks poised to launch a large-scale attack on the Gaza Strip. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu held a meeting of his security cabinet tonight and said Hamas is responsible and Hamas will pay. But a spokesman for Hamas warned today that if Israel attacks Gaza, it will open the gates of hell on itself. Holly, thanks very much.